So honestly, guys, I think the side hustle we're going to talk about today is going to be the simplest way to make money online in 2023 with zero experience, and it's called appointment setting. Now, I was doing a ton of research before hitting record in this video, and the majority of appointment setting videos out there are talking about theory and not actual day by day practice. So we're going to peel back the curtain in this video, go over the entire process of how you can get started as an appointment setter in 2023 and make upwards of $600 every single day. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Remote Closing Academy. Hey, what's going on? Aaron here for the Remote Closing Academy. And you might notice something a little bit different. We're in my hotel room in Cabo, Mexico for one of our in-person events with over 180 of our higher level clients that are actively looking for appointment setters and closers. So I highly recommend take out a sheet of paper, put down some notes because we're actively hiring for those clients. So in this video, we're gonna go over five sections and these five sections and the information here is the exact process that Aiden followed to at 17 years old to make over $10,000 a month after working at Panera Bread and how Jacob is able to make $15,000 every single month as an appointment setter as well. So it's gonna be all the same information. So make sure again, you take some notes. So those five sections we're going over is number one, overall, what is appointment setting? Number two, why appointment setting is the best side hustle to get into if you have zero experience. Number three, how to find appointment setting roles, plus exactly how to reach out to those and land those gigs. Number four, example DM scripts that can help you book 20 plus appointments per day. And number five, the income potential and the math behind a $10,000 per month appointment setter. It's going to be a lot, but it's going to be really good, I promise. <laughs> so first things first, let's talk about what the heck is an appointment setter and what does that even mean? Well, you've probably seen a ton of advertisements on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok even, of people like Tony Robbins, Dean Graziosi, uh, Frank Kern, Grant Cardone, Ryan Serhan, all of those people, by the way, are of our clients. And we're actively hiring appointment setters and closers for, but a lot of them are running some sort of advertisement, right? So I'm sharing my screen here so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but they usually run some sort of advertisement and this is then going to lead to some sort of webinar or video. Now, what happens is in this little section right about here, it's called an opt-in. So they put in their name, phone number, and email. And these are people that are actively interested in whatever it is, right? Losing weight, making money online, whatever it may be. After that person watches this webinar, what it leads to is a phone call. Now, what happens is the client itself, right? The Grant Cardone, whoever it is, they can't take the calls themselves. I mean, they're running actual businesses, they're scaling, they're making money. So what they need to do is in this section right here in the phone call is they hire remote closers, which obviously if you've been on the channel for a little bit, you know exactly what a remote closer is. Now what happens is the remote closer is they are going to have the conversation with the client and they're going to bring them in and turn them into a paying client. Now the unsung hero will say actually comes a little bit further down here right in this area where we have the opt-in and that is the appointment setter. Now you might be asking, well, why is there so much opportunity as an appointment setter? Well, a lot of times the higher ticket companies, they only really had the remote closer, right? It's been almost like an evolution. At first it was just the business owner they got too busy. So they had to hire remote closers and the closers got too busy to, to set appointments. So that's when the appointment setter came into play. Now it's hard to break down because it's very dependent on a lot of different offers and the videos but the conversion rate from this section here, right, opt-in to an actual phone call is usually 10% or less. So where are the other 90% of people? Well, these are all people here that have a name, phone number, and email that the appointment setter then goes in and they have the conversation with and they convert them over into the phone call with the remote closer and they're gonna make a percentage off of every single person that closes. Now, I don't wanna make this sound like too good to be true, but the, the beauty of this and why it's so simple to become an appointment setter in this model is because the person that's already looking at this advertisement and they're inputting their information anyway, they're already interested, right? So as opposed to, you know, I, I did door knocking, you guys probably know, I did door knocking uh, for, for a solar company for, uh, you know, probably a month and a half. And the people that I talked to there is you're, you're literally trying to convince them why they need to care about solar. In this case, they're already interested. They know that there's a problem more likely than not. They're running away from that problem and again, it just makes it so, so simple to convert them. So this is one version of it, but there's actually a new version in this new model that this is my, my elementary style drawing, but this is the second version that you can use, which is called DM setting that if you don't even want to get on the phone call, if you don't ever want to physically speak to someone, this is something that could help you out a ton. So Jeff, you can throw up a picture of our Instagram. You can see on Instagram, we have a couple different call to actions. We have a link in our bio. And then we also have something that says a DM to learn the entire process around remote closing. So. You can only imagine with over 106,000 followers on Instagram is we get a ton of DMs of people that are coming through. So we're actually gonna go through some exact conversations and show you how simple this could be a little bit later on in this video to show you the exact DM scripts. But when I tell you these people are like 
almost begging to get on your calendar and just telling you their entire life story. It makes your job a million times easier. It's super, super simple to get them set because they already know they have a problem and they're looking for a solution. So now that you have a general understanding of what appointment setting is, let's talk about why I personally think this is the best side hustle if you have zero experience. So first things first is the fact that you can make business owner money without actually being a business owner. So if you've been here for a while, you've heard the story of me having an agency and I started an agency because I was at a nine to five and I was like, okay, how can I make more money than I currently am in the nine to five? And all these people online, all these gurus were telling like, the only way you could do that is by starting your own business. So I started an agency back in 2016, 2017. I did that for a couple of years, but I really didn't make the money that I wanted to. And then when I made the transition into appointment setting and closing is I was able to make five to six times as I was as a business owner, just focusing on one skill, whether it's appointment setting or closing. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is you can literally do this from anywhere. I mean, again, I'm in Cabo right now. While I was on the plane, I set four appointments. One of those ended up closing as soon as I got off the plane and made 350 bucks just off of that one sale. And throughout this entire trip, I'm gonna take, you know, 15, 20 minute walks and just from my phone, sending DMs to people on Instagram and, you know, Messenger and email. It could just set appointments and make money from literally anywhere in the world. The third reason why I think it's the best side hustle is you're getting paid anywhere from seven to $15,000 a month in an entry level position, like name any other entry level position of any other job that you can make the same type of money. And the cool part is if you really stick it out with a company and you're a really great setter, they're going to automatically, when they're looking to upgrade a closer, who do you think they're gonna look to, right? They're gonna look to the person that has been solid with the company, the one that's really been working on their skills, and they're gonna boost you up to a closer, which double, if not triples your income by just learning a little bit more of like the closing aspects of it. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that, but it's a really easy way for you to, again, ascend within the company, but starting in an entry level position, but again, don't let that scare you because you're still making seven to 15 grand. And lastly, the reason why I think this is the best side hustle if you have zero experience is because you're building a skill set that is going to last your entire life. If you can master sales and communication, you will never have to worry about where your next paycheck is coming from. We just did a podcast with a guy that's been in sales for 28 years. He's been crushing it for those 28 years because he's just gotten really good at sales and communication. And there's always going to be a company looking for someone that can fill that specific role. All right, hold on. Aaron jumping in here super quickly. Now, the majority of people only watch our YouTube videos about 30 to 40% of the way. So I want to come in here and remind you down below in the description, the first link that's down there, it's going to bring you over to a full on like 35 minute training that breaks down exactly how to use everything you're learning in this video and to putting into action, right? How to use it, what exactly appointment setting is, right? Going through and how to find these companies, like a lot of the stuff we're talking about here, but a much more in-depth video. So click the link down in the description, put it, don't watch it yet. Just put it in your tabs, right? Have it open, open up in a new tab and make sure to check that out at the end after you're done watching this video and it's going to help you out a ton in the implementation so go ahead and check that out we'll give you a uh, reminder here at the end to make sure you get to it all right back to the video all right so let's go ahead and jump into section number three which is how to actually find these gigs i know this video is getting a little bit longer but i promise three, four, five, like these are gonna be the juicy sections of the DM scripts and everything across the board. So number three is where to find these gigs. I think this is the biggest misconception is most people that are newer into this industry is they don't understand how much opportunities out there. Right now, we're at an event where there's over 180 high ticket clients that are doing anywhere from, you know, 100,000 a month upwards of, you know, 3 million a month. And they're all actively looking for appointment setters and closers. And that's just in this room. Now, of course, that's one way you can go through us and we can place you within those companies that are vetted and they already have offers and they're willing to pay. Or you can follow some of the things we're going to splice over to a different training I did like two days ago. And it's going to show you two other resources to get hired. I mean, pretty instantly with some of these other ways. So let's go and jump into our screen share here. So first place is we're gonna look at the ClickFunnels official group here on Facebook. So all you gotta do, go to Facebook, search up, join this group, and all you're gonna do is come down here and click the search button. And you've seen I've already done it here, but we're gonna search up high ticket closer. And what we'll find is relatively recently, you know, this January, well, January is a little bit ago, but you know, this is in March, just a couple of weeks ago. Um, this person, and I'm not gonna go through every single one, but you know, looking to hire our next high ticket closer, make 10 to $30,000 a month, you'll get 80,000, or I'm sorry, you'll get 80 qualified calls per month. So again, not gonna go too deep into this, but you can just scroll down here and you can find a ton. Now, a second place where you'll find a lot more active, I guess for lack of a better word, is gonna be this group here called High Ticket Closer, free job opportunities in high ticket sales. So as we scroll down here, you can even see 23 hours ago, we are hiring a DM setter ASAP, $100 for each closed set. 
on a 2K offer. So you don't even have to like even get on the phone with anyone. You literally just DM people back and forth. That's it. Uh, four hours ago, hiring appointment setters and closers, three to 10K earning potential, um, you know, five to 30K offer. Again, a ton of stuff on there. This one's six days ago. If you scroll down on this entire thing, you're going to see a ton of offers and people that are looking for closers and appointment setters. And the last place that we're going to look at here is just a regular job board. You might've seen this before. It's called Indeed. I think my, uh, my laptop is cutting it off a little bit. There we go. So Indeed, and all you're going to do is come up here and search uh, remote. Or you're going to actually for this one, you'll do high ticket closer is usually the keyword to use here. So if you search high ticket closer where I would just keep that blank because you don't really necessarily need that in here. And here we go. So high ticket closer, uh, 10,000 to 24,000 a month. Uh, 50,000 to 132,000 a year, 100,000 to 500,000 a year. I mean, 200, 350,000 a year. You can go through all these and apply for them. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Even those first three or four examples are great examples of the income potential as an appointment setter, or I'm sorry, as a closer. And you can even do high ticket appointment setter, search, and you will find... Uh, let's see, high ticket closer, a lot of these, you know, appointment setter. So again, you can play around with the keywords and use the ones and apply for the ones you think are gonna make the most sense to you. Now, those are where to find the companies. Now, I wanna just give you guys an exact outreach script that you can use to get hired with some of these companies. So I'm gonna read it off here just so I don't miss anything. But you basically start off by, hey name, you know, I saw that you were looking to hire an appointment setter for insert business name. I saw looking around in your website and profile and really resonated with the things that you're talking about. I have similar values and think I could help a ton and add value to your company and help you get closer to your goals as a business. I'd love to set up a quick chat to see if it would make sense to work together. I appreciate the time and have a good day. Now, everything that I just went over, like you can take that and just copy and paste it, put it into a message. But if you really want to stand out and just show these companies that you are the real deal, you'll send this either in a voice message or a video message. Now, I did a, a podcast with this guy named Josh. I forgot exactly what episode, but you can, we'll, we'll put it up somewhere on screen for you to check it out. But he specifically said that he had no experience in this space, but because he showed up, he sent a ton of video messages every single day to attempt to get hired. And the company that he ended up getting placed with is they looked at the fact that he sent videos not as experience at all. So if you can just show up good for yourself, like there's so many companies that will give you the chance if you're just showing that you're going to put your best foot forward and show that you just are willing to be a little bit different. All right, guys, so jumping into step number four, we're going to go over some of the exact DM scripts. I'm going to go bring you through the exact message flow, um, how to handle conversations over Messenger. And then if you actually wait a second here, you can notice I'm at a little bit of a different location than uh, there in Mexico. I um, ended up having to, you know, we went on a bunch of excursions, rode camels, uh, you know, ATVs, that type of stuff. And actually on the way to and from the place I was doing appointment setting, ended up setting 12 appointments that day and I did one of them live. So make sure, watch through this and then I'll show you uh, me doing those, uh, one of those live on the way back from um, riding camels. <laughs> so uh, here we go. So the message flow, uh, this is gonna be really simple just to get an idea of what you're trying to get from these conversations. So first thing is you wanna figure out depending on the offer, right? If you're selling something where they're making money online, in my case, you know, it's selling remote closing. But uh, you want to get an idea of what the offer is. So if it's weight loss, if it's making money online, if it's spirituality, whatever it is, obviously you're going to change these questions to cater that a little bit more. So what you're ultimately trying to do, especially because it's uh, most of these is when you're selling this course, it's some sort of investment and it's going to be very dependent based on each offer, right? Because the, the price points are a little bit different. You know, the, the investments are a little bit different. You'll obviously want to talk to the person that is, you know, the business owner or whatever to make sure these questions go along with that. But this is just overall what most offers are going to want you to do. So you want to ask them, the person you're talking to, you know, do you have a job, right? So do you have a job? You want to ask that so you can financially qualify them, make sure that they have funds to invest into whatever program that it is. Um, do they have some sort of pain, right? If you've seen any of other videos, is you there's seven beliefs that every single prospect has to, to buy, right? There's pain, doubt, cost, desire, money, support, trust. These couple of questions will do a couple of those, at least the most important to get them onto the next call. So do they have some sort of pain, right? If you can find the pain, then you can easily, easily set them for the next call. Are they running away from something, right? So that's another form of pain, right? Are they trying to, if we're looking at, you know, pain, doubt, cost, desire, so cost, right? The cost of inaction, right? So what are they currently running away from, right? What is the cost of what happens if they stay in the same spot and they aren't able to get out of that? Do they have big goals and you know can't get there with their current situation? So again, what is the desire, right? If we go back to those, those seven beliefs, pain, cost, and desire, a lot of times are going to be able to be the things that can get them in the next conversation. So I put here, the goal for the DMs is to find the reasons 
uh, why they should get on the next call um, and as little back and forth as possible, right? You don't wanna be the one to sell the offer, right? You're just selling the next conversation. You're selling them on getting that, that conversation with the closer so that they can go in and really build up those seven beliefs and then go in for the sale so you can make a commission on that. So really how, how the message flow works is, you know, the, the Instagram profile or the automatic text message or whatever, the person is going to come inbound with some specific keyword, right? It might not be a keyword. We usually use like on our Instagram, we'll use RCA as a keyword or remote or whatever, but it's gonna be something that comes inbound. So the easiest way that I found them to get interested in this, right? Is just saying, hey, you know, John, what had you interested about remote closing, right? Because they're already coming inbound, they're already interested. So you just ask them, you know, what had you interested about remote closing or about uh, losing weight using keto or, you know, making money by doing blah, blah, blah. They're going to give you a rundown. And because they're interested, they usually will give you a pretty like dense breakdown of, you know, this is my current situation. This is where I currently am. This is why I'm, you know, reaching out, whatever. And a lot of times you're going to get a lot of these pieces of information. But if they don't give you those things, these are just a couple of, of questions you get asked based on their response, right? So if they say something like, you know, well, I just want to make more money, right? Obviously, you want to dig into that a little bit more. It's like, okay, so like, what would you ideally be making per, per month if you could, right? Or, you know, what, what are you currently doing for work right now? Or you can dig deeper. It's like, why are you interested in this as opposed to your job, right? Because you're f trying to find the pain. So I don't have every single response that you would put on here, but you, you almost just got to think a little bit critically, right? If they say, based on whatever they say, you want to have the conversation to figure out what the actual pain is within that. And this might seem like really elementary, but, and really simple, but the thing with these conversations, and I'll, again, I'll show you with the, um, with a live conversation here in a second, because they're interested in reaching out to you, they want to know more about whatever this thing is and it's grabbed their interest. So really the, the main thing you want to do is again, p build up a little bit of pain. Why do they want that thing? right? Why do they want to, why, what do they current, currently run away from? And when then you, when you have that information, then you just go on this and, and the reason this works, right? So, um, so you'd say, okay, got it. So based on that, I think it makes the most sense to jump in a quick 15 minute chat. Um, and then I would even add like to see how we can help you out. You help you out, right? Because if you do that, what it's doing and opening the conversation with is because you don't ask a bunch of questions, they, they can't come back with, well, like I told you my situation. It's like, hey, I don't know if we can help you out, right? You wanna almost play like you're playing dumb a little bit. And uh, you just say, okay, you know, based on that, I think what makes the most sense here is to jump on a quick 15 minute chat to see how we can help you out. Is that something you're open to? And this is really key as well. Is that something you're open to, right? You're not saying, you know, let's pick a time right now. You're saying, hey, is that something you're open to? And 9.999 times, out of 10, they're going to say yes. I've had very, very few, you know, there are some skeptical people that don't want to get scammed or whatever, you know, because there's a lot of like scam accounts out there and I get it, right? Like people don't want to get scammed, but more often than not, they're going to say yes, because this conversation doesn't seem robotic. Um, sometimes what I'll do too is I'll send a voice message or I'll send a video uh, just so that they can see like, it's me. I'm not trying to scam anyone, right? Things like that. And they'll usually respond with yes. Then all you got to do is, you know, through the closer, they're going to have some sort of booking link that you can send them into them. And here's a little, little hack that I use is what you can say is you, uh, you know, you send a link to them and then you say, Hey, let me know when you book so I can make sure it comes through and with what email that you used. So what this does is psychologically, it's like, Hey, you know, let me know. You don't necessarily, yes, you want to make sure that it gets confirmed, but I like almost frame it as, Hey, like our tech is kind of wonky. Sometimes I just really want to make sure that I get you on the calendar to make sure that, you know, you can have this conversation with the next person. So nine times out of 10, they'll book it and then they'll send me their email that they sent it with. I don't really have to cross reference, but again, I'm getting that information from them um, to get them booked on the call. Um, and then this isn't like mandatory, but usually depending on the company you're working with is they'll have some sort of like pre-call video. And what it does is it sets the expectation for the next conversation so that number one, it starts to build up like the, the curiosity of whatever it is. And then it also gets them primed for that call so they at least have a general understanding of what the actual offer is. It brings down the amount of questions up front and it also builds the value and curiosity. So it increases the chances of them jumping on the next call. So again, this is like a general framework. If you just start with this, again, we're gonna splice over to uh, the live conversation that I did just to give you some context. But there's, you know, there's so many different ways to go about this. You can really easily book, you know, I'd say on an off day, I'll set 12 to 15 appointments. Um, on a really good day, we're talking 20 to 30. 
and even if like a small percentage of the people convert over, um, you're still making a couple hundred bucks a day from um, from the sets from these. So let's splice over to the live uh, the live appointment setting and we'll see you guys over there. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So just going through this conversation, uh, basically setting appointments, obviously. And uh, so we usually just send like a really simple message at the beginning, get them talking a little bit, figure out, okay, like what is their current situation? Like, why don't they like that? Um, and with this one, it's just this dude is tired of working in a nine to five. And he's like, I know that there's something better than, he said, currently stuck in a chair in a cubicle that I don't feel comfy in. So I'm just gonna respond. Um, at this point, um, the way that we run the conversations is we try to, well, obviously we wanna get like information from them, figure out like what, you know, again, the pain points, whatever. But sometimes it's so simple because they give you like all the information. So if someone's in the position where they already know like, okay, I wanna make a change, I'm just gonna go straight and put him on the, uh, on the calendar because again, he's gonna show up for the call. He has the pain there. So I'm just gonna send him the link. So I'm just gonna say, um, Got you, man. I feel that. Um, I think the best option at this point is to jump on a quick 15 minute call. That's something you open to. Question mark. And we'll, uh, we'll give him a second response and see what happens. Yep. All right, he's typing. We got it. He was like active on Instagram. He said, "Yeah, but not right now." No worries. I'll send you a link. That cool. So one one other small thing that I like to do is ending with a question, but making sure that like. Ending with a question and making sure that you're transitioning the conversation. Because I see a big problem that a lot of people, like appointment centers will make, is they'll make more of like statements and like answer their question. When if you just answer the question, you're not like retaining control of the conversation. So just said, let's see. Yeah, no worries. I'll send you a link. That cool. He said, yes. So I'm going to shoot him our link and I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, just the notification that he actually booked. And I'm going to send him a little pre call video so he can check it out before. Uh, before he jumps in the call, he'll, uh, you know, he's a programmer, so he's someone that, you know, that's a little like financial qualifier. We know that he's serious, he has a pain, and I think this will be a good call. So, yeah. All right, so another hack tip trick is, um, so what I'm gonna send to him, so I send him the calendar link, but a lot of times they, like, you wanna like triple confirm. So what I'm gonna say is, hey, oh, I'll, no, I'll say, um, by the way, can you just send me the email that you use to book, that you use to book, and let me know. So I'm gonna say, let me know when you do, so I can make sure like tech, like you know, tech is wonky sometimes. Um, so it just like it makes them kind of go in and do it like now, so I can check. Um, so let me know, so I can make sure it comes through. So really, I'm not. I don't really care much about the email. I just want him to like send me the email so that he goes in and like books it. If that makes sense. So. Um, yeah, there's your tip. There's your tip for the day. All right, y'all, so we have a Slack channel specifically for uh, appointment setting calls. And this one that just came through, his name is Tim, and uh, he booked in, so obviously we'll, we'll blur all the sensitive info. But that's, I mean, I did that in probably collectively five minutes. Like, in terms of the conversation, that will wait for him to respond or whatever. But um, if you can do that, like, let's say that was, you know, it took 10 minutes. If you can do, like, 10 of those a day, Statistically speaking, <laughs> about 10% of them will close, right? And you know, if your follow-up's better and like that type of stuff. So you can even get like 20% of them to close. If you're selling a $9,800 offer, which we are, and you're making, so call 10,000, right? We'll make $300 every close. So if you're closing 10%, that's 300 bucks every day, essentially. So it's, uh, it's pretty yeah. good. Not, it's not bad, it's not bad. Okay, so let's finally jump into section number five, which most people are always wondering how much money you can make as an appointment setter or with remote closing, whatever it may be. So keep all, all this stuff in mind, right? When we're going through these numbers, these are averages, right? I'm not saying you're going to make this amount of money just based on what we've seen a lot of closers and setters ramp into. Um, these are gonna be numbers across the board. So um, what we're gonna do, take on average, let's say you're selling or the thing that you're setting for is 7,500 bucks. And let's just say that you are setting about seven sets per day. Now, keep in mind, when you first start out, just like any new skill is you might not be getting seven per day. You might be getting one a day or two a day, right? But you know, as you get better, as you ramp up, 
it's a compound effect, right? You're going to get better month two, month three, month four, month five, month 12, because you're getting the feedback of how you can improve on each of these. But when a setter is ramped up, average seven sets per day, um, that's going to be five days out of the week. So let's just take that, you know, 35 calls per week, which is going to give you 140 calls or 140 set calls per month. And that's going to be, if we take to consideration a 70% show up rate, so not every single person is going to show up to the call. Let's say you have 98 shows, again, 70%. If you make it higher, obviously you'll make more. Um, if it's less, you might not get 98 shows, which kind of affects everything uh, down the line. So again, average closing rate, we usually use 20%, right? Minimum KPI, sometimes the closers do better. Sometimes they're not quite at 20%. So again, just keeping these numbers uh, you know, on average. So if we do take 20% of the 98 shows is gonna give you 19 closes per month. So industry standard is gonna be about 3% commission, right? 3% on every single sale. And with this 7,500, 3% of that is going to give you 225 per sale. So if you take 225 times the 19 of the deals that you closes or, you know, set closes, it's going to give you 4275. And as an appointment setter, you're usually going to have some sort of base, right? So 1,000, 1,500 bucks, depending on the OTE, which is the on-track earnings, which would be down here. And each, each company is going to be estimated a little bit differently. So for example, let's say the offer is like, 20k if you're hitting these minimum kpis you're going to be doing 10 15 20 000 a month as an appointment setter so it doesn't really make sense for them to, for the company to pay all the setters a base of 1500 because as an entry level position you're making 10 to 20 thousand dollars a month so just keep that stuff in mind again 5775 would be based on all these numbers um, and usually too uh, depending on you know this th these closes right if you hit a certain amount of uh, let's say cash collected for that month or revenue uh there's usually different bonuses which you know this could add another 1500 i don't know that five my fives are always messed up but i could give you an extra 1500 2000 a month based on uh the bonus structure so what i wanted to do on this next page is just give you more of an idea of what happens when you change just a couple of variables so when you do this for a good amount of time right you're going to get better and with getting better means that you're going to get more sets and usually you can increase either to a better offer or the, let's say the team that you're on, I'll give you an example. Uh, you know, the team that I'm running on right now in closers.io is we have our lower ticket offer, watch it, right? Which is, um, you know, about 10,000. And then we have our high ticket on our, on a separate company within the same company, which is uh, 15,000 and then also 68,000. So when you can work internally within a business and then, you know, scale up and you can show that you're good and you're, you know, you're putting the work in, is you can then move on to some of those offers internally within the company. That's why I love starting as an appointment setter because you get to show your worth, you get to show that you're, you know, you're putting in the work and then you can just ascend into it. So the only things that I change from this side here to this slide is the average offer being $10,000 and you just get a little bit better, right? You just get an extra three sets, right? Over here we have seven, over here we have 10. So you just get an extra three sets every single day, but you're gonna see how drastic the income changes based on uh, based on what you go through. So again, let's say average offer 10,000 and then you're gonna get 10 sets per day. So same thing here, right? 10 times, oh yeah, so five days a week is gonna give you 50 calls per week, which is 200 per month versus the 140, right? So you're gonna get 200 uh, sets per month. And then 140 is, we keep this, this show rate the same, right? 70%. So let's say you get 140 shows and they close about 20%. So 140 times the 20% is gonna give you 28 closes a month. Um, if we take the same 3%, except you're getting 300 per sale instead of 225 because of the offer, right? 3% of this is different than 7,500. And that's going to put you at 300 times 28 equals 8,400 in commissions plus the 1,500 base, which is going to bring you up to 9,900. So if we look at just the very small differences of just an extra three sets per day and a little bit of a higher offer is you're increasing by 3,000 to $4,000 at the minimum, right? When you're at this higher, uh, you know, in this higher offer as well is there are going to be more bonuses uh, attached to that, right? Again, keep in mind, everything that I talked about on here is very dependent on the offer price. It's very dependent on the skill sets. And even, you know, just to give you another example, let's say, you know, you're doing, let's say you're working seven days a week, right? Because you're a savage, you're a little bit younger, you don't have any, uh, <laughs> maybe you don't have as much, um, what's the word, uh, obligations, right? You can grind it out seven days a week. Or let's say you're just going crazy, you're getting 20 cents a day. 20 is definitely on the higher end. <laughs> so, you know, obviously as you increase up here, efficiency uh, along here is going to be a lower, a little bit lower. So if this gets up to 15, this will probably drop down, right? Probably drop down to like 50 to 60%. Uh, but again, you can, you can play with these numbers, you can move them around and you can see, you know, what is the actual income potential of, um, you know, uh, of some of these, these opportunities. So uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I don't know how long this is. 
close to an hour, <laughs> I'm assuming at this point, um, you know, at the very least, you know, 30 minutes. So if you have any questions, obviously let us know down in the description. And also, if you want to figure out the step-by-step -step process of exactly how to get started in this entire industry, the first link down in the description is going to bring you over to a video. And that's going to bring you step-by-step, -step, not only of how to get started, but what specifically appointment setting is, how to find the different gigs, and how to really take advantage of this high-value skill set as much as humanly possible. So all that being said, make sure to click the link down below. And then also there'll be another video on screen to bring you over to the next one in the series. See you guys in the next one. Talk soon. Peace.